This is the closed door session. We expect it to last uh, somewhere between uh, three and four hours, uh, breaking around midday here in Washington. Uh, heading into the session, Donald Trump Jr. was asked by reporters if he was here to correct the record, and he said, quote, there's nothing to correct. That's because this closed door session is not looking for new evidence of a conspiracy with the Russians, and it's not looking for new evidence of obstruction that's already been litigated. It's really doing a deep dive on discrepancies in witness testimony and whether further action is warranted. A uh, principal area they're going to be looking at today has to do with the testimony of the president's former personal attorney, Michael Cohen. Uh, he testified that when he briefed members of the Trump family, specifically the president's son, that he told them about a Moscow real estate project in 2016 on nearly a dozen occasions. But the president's son testified that he was only vaguely or peripherally aware of the project that never went forward in the end. The other basket of questions is going to focus on the June 2016 Trump Tower meeting in New York. That was the meeting that was brokered with the Russian lawyer Natalia Veselnitskaya, who offered dirt on the Hillary Clinton campaign. Again, the question is to what extent knowledge of that meeting was shared beforehand with members of the Trump campaign or whether it was really on a very close hold as the president's son has testified. So those are the basket of issues, Bill, that they'll be looking at here this morning right, we'll in the see, Senate. We'll see how long it goes. <laughs> Meanwhile, what's the latest on the House holding the AG in civil contempt, Catherine? Right. Well, you know, the the position of Justice Department officials is that if you take a close look at this resolution, the word contempt is never never used. And the resolution which passed uh, 229 to 191 along strict party lines uh, allows House Democrats to go to court and to sue for the enforcement of the subpoena against the attorney general and the former White House counsel, uh, Don McGahn. So the Republican spin, if you will, on this is that the use of contempt is really Democratic talking points. Nonetheless, both sides are using this word freely, and they did so when they took to the House floor yesterday. Democrats say we're on a constitutional crisis, and they're right, but not because of Attorney General Barr. The true con the constitutional crisis is this. When Democrats can't win, they change the rules. No one is above the law. Everyone will be held accountable, including the President of the United States. House Democrats are saying at this point that they do not intend to go to court unless they feel that the Justice Department is stalling them out on some of these key records. Uh, Republicans counter that they don't think the House Democrats can actually prevail in court because they're seeking information such as grand jury material that cannot be provided unless there's a court order bill. Okay, Catherine, we shall watch all of that. Well done, Catherine Harridge up on the Hill. You're welcome. Thanks.